Hello, everybody. My name is Amul. I'm Los Angeles. I'm joined with... Yeah, I'm Jeff Pelton, and I'm down here in San Diego. And this is the Smoking Hot Coffee Show, uh, where we talk about startups and technology and fun things on the web. You want to add something? Yeah, hey, Mool. Uh, it's really great, uh, great to be here with you today. I'm really looking forward to uh, this uh, podcast that we're trying to start up to uh, give us a venue to uh, chat about our, uh, you know, all the great stuff that we see uh, every day online and follow our passion and interest in startups and uh, web applications. Yeah, so to that end, um, I want to, um, you know, we want to hear f back from you guys. So if you want to contact us, how do, how do they get a hold of us, Jeff? So you can find me at Comster on uh, Twitter, uh, okay. which you can see kind of in the bottom of my uh, right video. There. And you can also find me at jeffpelton.com. Yeah, and you can find me at Amul underscore Patel on Twitter. And, of course, uh, you can email me at amulp84 at gmail. Whoops. Please don't spam me. Okay, uh, so I think that takes care of how people can get a hold of us. Um, anything else you'd like to add before we get into it? Um, no, I mean, I think we'll kind of uh, discover a little bit about the format uh, as we go through the show today and uh, hopefully get some feedback from our audience and, uh, you know, we'll just keep uh, making uh, revisions from there. Okay, so uh, let me go into the site where you can find our videos and the stuff that we're talking about. So it's smokinghotcoffee.com. And that's where we're going to have our show notes and... Uh, any sort of information, uh, links, and that kind of thing, and also our contact info will be there. All right, so let's get right into it. Um, we're going to try to stay on target here. We've got 28 minutes left. Uh, so I'd like to start off with us just covering some of the startups that uh, that are you know striking our fancy. How's that sound, Jeff? Yeah, it sounds great. All right, so I'm trying to get to that screen. Well, can you send me that link, Jeff? Smoking hot coffee? Yeah. Okay, let me try yeah. that. Smoking... Hot coffee. There we go. Jeff, where are you? There we are. Sorry, it didn't linkify and escape. It's fine. But, it's, uh, it's just it's at smokinghotcoffee.com. And, uh, you know, the HTTP. site's a little. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. It's a little bit under construction, but uh, we'll uh, be talking about it on the show as we go and uh, actually do a little bit of the design uh, live on the show and try to implement it even, uh, do some live code. Uh, work uh, in sort of a uh, a special series on the show. Yeah. Just while we uh, get that up and running. Yeah, that I, that sounds like a lot of fun. I, I'm I'm. Yeah. In the, in the meantime, the utility of the website is uh, going to be the place where we can bookmark uh, all of the cool sites we find, uh, save all the screenshots, uh, keep notes, blog posts, all of uh, the videos we post, and um, like you said, contact info and all the extra stuff will be on here. Uh, so it's a great way for us to kind of manage and keep track of all of uh, the resources we have between us. Yeah, so so right now, obviously, we don't have all those links ready, but in the next couple of days, we definitely will. So by the time you're hopefully watching this, you'll have all that information. We're also individually contacting uh, these startups, and we will we'll inform that, that we're talking about them, and, and hopefully they'll be part of the show too. Maybe we can even have them call in and we can interview them and t tell us how they built it and what their thoughts are and how they're getting yeah, it out there great. in the world. What do you think of that, Jeff? Yeah, that could be awesome. Yeah, yeah, I thought that'd be really fun. So, all right, cool. Uh, so how are we doing on time? Uh, we are 26 minutes since. All right, great. All right, so let's start with check this. What do you say? Sounds good? Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, what, what do you think uh, is most interesting on here? Okay, so first of all, let's check out their uh, their homepage, their landing page. Very nice. Looks like they're, you know, looks like it's Let's see if it's responsive. It is responsive. Yeah, you know, the first thing I always notice is uh, it's kind of interesting. They stick with that, like, 900-pixel uh, kind of center column, mm -hmm. um, but they did choose to use the full width on the navigation bar in the very top left and top right. Yeah. I know you've got a really big monitor on your desktop, I believe. Right. So, uh, you know, sometimes you have your browser window open. It's kind of strange to see uh, so stuff I, in these so corners. In, in my opinion, now, or in our opinion, you, you think this should be in the center. This should be... F left aligned like right around here is that what you're thinking um probably i, I can't see your mouse cursor exactly um okay. but yeah i mean it, it's just uh you know i actually am a huge fan of uh like full width applications that kind of take advantage of the whole screen if they can okay uh, but i don't know what do you think i mean i think it's I'm, a little bit offsetting to have a, a you know the strict column and grid format I, but I, then kind of bust out of it for the header i i 
I think I'm I'm a big fan of actually staying within constraints. Uh, I d I'm not a big fan of sites that stretch all the way along like you are so much, simply because the grid gets kind of lost and the gutter and the column width starts to get really big and and so too uh, many screen sizes. Yeah, well, there's a lot of screen sizes out. Yep, that's right. And so I'm a big fan of if you want to go ahead and have a large width site, then maintain the grid structure and maintain the gutter widths and don't stretch the images really long and don't stretch your sentences and your um, your column widths too long because you know it it, it breaks the design rules that uh, that we should be following. And, mm -hmm. and and with regards to this nav, this nav should be maybe over here or someplace because not I'm you know my eye is. You know, my yeah, eye first so comes here, and the then, and then, yeah, my eye has to go over here to to see this. But, anyways, let let's get let's yeah. Get so, besides that, let's talk about the product itself. What yeah. do you think about these social posters? Uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Looks like they're try they're clicking building... on a couple of those. Uh, All right, so this looks pretty something cool. there, and see what a an example poster yeah, looks no, like. Yeah, this is this looks pretty neat, man. Uh, I'm digging this. I I love creative apps and that build a community. Wow, this is neat. So it looks like they've got a little beat beat box or beat uh, UI that they're is this uh, so these are images and looks like oh this is pretty cool and it's got enhancements and available apps there. oh this is really great and they've got a little uh, looks like people are mentioning it a conversation, conversation on the right yeah, yeah it's very neat and uh, yeah I, I dig it I, I think it's pretty nice um, can I edit yeah, this I guess no, it's, it's not editable all right that's cool so let, let's go back. try to create though maybe uh, see how quick and easy it is to create a poster all that right. big call to action on the I want to take top. a look at a couple more before we do that really quick I just want to see some and of I see the they have different categories there ask so oh I see yeah yeah okay yeah and I see this one's got video Oh, this is really nice. Looks like they even have a little bit of JavaScript going on top, a little floating s snow, whatever. All right, so yeah, let, let's go ahead and take a look at their product. So I'm going to click on New Poster. And um, all right. And looks cool. like. So you're editing without logging in, which yeah, is nice. That's really great. Yep, yeah, editing without logging in. That's huge. And looks like I, I am able to. Hello there. I'm able to click on without seeing a form element, so it's. That's very nice. So it's uh, what's what was what that term called? Um, uh, in place. Yeah, in place editing, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. That's it. In place editing, very nice. Yeah. And 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 I, w I don't know how many characters. Let's see. Do they? Oh, it lets you do double lines. Oh, that's cool. Looks like we can add lots of lots of characters. So that's good. Cool. So who do you think this would be most useful for? This is really great for the busy sort of small business person that wants to put together a little. Uh, parts of their site. This could be really great for people that are putting ads up on Craigslist, maybe even, mm, uh, okay. because those those yeah, forms are horrendous. Yeah, a nice little social poster. Yeah, social poster. This is this is awesome. Yeah, mm. it'd be really great if there was a way for us for me to grab stuff out of my Dropbox. Let's see if I can uh, add. Yeah, text, it looks like you need to be able to add some image. Oh, it looks like you're like able that. to put in some Flickr Instagram. That's kind of cool. Computer webcam. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they cool. thought of the stuff. All right, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, and they've even got something. Let's see, poll. Oh wow. How was your day? Okay. Shitty, awesome. Wow, very nice. What do you think of that? Yeah, not bad. So you think you can make one of these and then post it to like your Facebook page or somewhere where you're trying to kind of mm -hmm. uh, promote to your community and get feedback and. Ooh, this is oh, this is making me hot and bothered right here. Oh, I love this. Now we're in typography land. Here oh, we go. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, that's not bad. This is very nice. This is very nice. These defaults are very important. I'm a big fan of nice defaults. You know, yeah. uh, people are not that people are lazy, but people just don't have the uh, expertise to know the, what the right complementary color is. And yeah. and oh, it looks like they even have palettes. Oh, very nice. These guys have thought mm -hmm. of everything. This is very, very nice. And can yeah, I this is pretty helpful. Oh, this is great. This is really great. So uh, this is, this is uh, from a design perspective, looks like they've got some good, good defaults. They're not asking me to sign in. Um, how, yeah, easy for, how easy for me to publish? Let's see. It looks here, log in or register Facebook, hmm. and I can connect to Twitter and Google. Very nice. What do you think? All right. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, this That's is pretty great. pretty straightforward and... Uh, and oh, can wow. I share this? Will they give me a URL if I don't want to sign in? Can I? I wonder if they. Wonder if this is. Yeah, just paste that URL to me in Skype, and let's see if that works. Let's see. Or okay. I could just type it in. Yeah, here we go. It. Let me just. I'm sending it to you in Skype. Let's see if they save this in their local or temporary database or whatever. Does it come yeah, up for it you? Yeah, it looks like it's live. Oh man. Yep. 
came right up. It came right up? Very nice. Uh, let's go through some of their sales pages. Oh, this is pretty nice. Nice little overview, good call-outs, keeping it really minimal. Very nice. And this guy's look, a little job ad. Oh, this is great. Oh, very nice, Pretty very clean. nice. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going for the whole one-page app, almost, style, with these mm -hmm. sort of multi-column rows where each row is sort of a sales point. Very visual. What do you think, Jeff? What's your thoughts? Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm looking at your page now from my side, and I'm voting on it, um, voting that I had an awesome day. It's giving me that same kind of prompt to connect with Facebook, Twitter, or Google to log in. Oh, or I can just put in my name. That's wow. great. No, this oh, is there uh, we go. yeah. So I gave it a vote without even logging in. Oh, uh, is that right? So I'm looking at the yeah. So the it's also neat the way they have that bar on the right of the page set up to to handle all of the social interactions, liking, commenting, and sharing. Okay. Pretty clean. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I'm. Uh this is uh, this is good. This is good stuff. So, uh, what are your uh, what's your prognosis on this company being around in the next couple of years? Mm -hmm. Are they making any money? How do we make money out of this? <laughs> good question. Let's uh, maybe we should uh, take a look at them on uh, AngelList if uh, if you're curious about that. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's see. I'm gonna do check this. Find that this. for you. Check this. AngelList. Google has anything on these guys. Yep, they do have an angel page. And here they are. Uh, looks like they've got 188 followers. Does that mean they have a... Sh uh, how many followers do you need on angel list to get funding? What's your thoughts? Uh, you know, I'm not a good uh, person to ask about that right now. Right, I'm not well, sure. Well, we're going to definitely have to keep track of that. We'll have to see. Yeah, well, I'll, I'm going to start following angel list a little more Whoa, closely. Oh, check this out, guys. Nine. They've, yeah, look funding. at that. They almost raised a million bucks. Am I am I seeing uh, this right? Is this right? Yeah, it looks like it looks like TechCrunch article from uh, last summer. Holy so yeah, shit. I forget uh, where I saw them first. They've been around for a little while. It looks like uh, definitely a polished and uh, nice looking product. Wow, man, nine hundred and ten thousand, bro. This this can buy some pizzas, did, man. Did you uh, see where they were based out of? I'm just curious where. No, uh, no, where are they based out of? Does it say? Oh, it says New York. Oh, wow. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. All right, so let's 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 move on. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Let's jump to another okay. site. Take all right, a look. So let's um, let's go back. Um, all right. So how about we do Flutter? Sure. Yeah, that one is pretty fun. All right. So cool. All right. Introducing Flutter. Play and pause your music and movies with a gesture. Huh. And it's a it's an app that you download to a computer. What? So this isn't even a web app. This is actual software. Yeah. All those things you had to do, pause your music. Oh, I do like this animation as that gets triggered by the scroll. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's a pretty nice little website to uh, demonstrate their application um, <clears throat> as opposed to what you're used to seeing, you know, the typical dummy iPhone with uh, some screenshots. This is actually a little bit more involved and character example of how to make use of their application, which is... Really yeah, neat. so they, they've got, they're going with a sort of comic book style, you know, webcam detects it, hold your palm. So it looks like they're using your webcam as a motion tra capture trigger thing. Wow, very neat. Um, all right, so Jeff, uh, how do these yeah. guys make money? Uh, what's your thoughts? Uh, I don't know. It's a great question. Is this a free download? I, I, doesn't, um. I don't. Okay. You know, I'm sure if uh, if it's an app, um, they they likely have a premium version of the app. Or okay, well, um, look at this. This there's a bunch of guys here. A lot of them happen to be Indian, wow. uh, and so these guys need to ha need to get paid. Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like they've also been written up in TechCrunch and Pando and Wired and all that. So yeah, it looks like yeah, yeah, maybe maybe they are getting some money here. Yeah, they're uh, they're a Y Combinator. I know uh, that's how I saw them through Hacker News. I think uh, it, okay. it looks like a pretty neat idea. I'm not sure what their long term direction is, uh, how they're planning on, uh, you know, making a living off this. Uh, whether it's just that app or uh, it looks like they're toying with the idea of using gestures to, you know, can do more user interface control uh, or take over more u user interface in the future. So, so uh, you know, so we should probably keep an eye on these guys. Yeah. So you know, you would think, ah, fuck, you know, it's a downloadable thing. How are they going to make money? And and maybe maybe. It, that that's going to create friction for them to adopt a user base. Like, for example, am I going to download this? Probably not, man. Unless mm -hmm. a bunch of my other friends start using it, 
and then they tell me about it, maybe I'll maybe I'll then I'll consider downloading it. But I, I'm lazy, I'm busy, and if if I can't play with it right away, um, you know, there is that friction, you know. But then think about Dropbox. There is a downloadable app, and look, they're mm -hmm. making tons of money. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. The 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 only problem I would say with Flutter right here is it's only for the Mac. It looks like. No, they say um, Windows here. It's got a Windows icon. Oh, it does. Yep. Oh, that's right. Yep. Oh, with Windows. Okay, they're just giving you a download yep. since so you're on your they, Mac. Exactly. They're well, that's great. Uh, unfortunately, I have a, a Linux box plugged in as my home theater <laughs> PC. So, okay. um, you know, until I get my Apple TV or uh, buy a new Mac uh, app, yeah. You know. Gotcha. All right. Well, luckily, uh, you know, Linux isn't a big part of their market right now. Uh, as long as no, you have the Mac Windows. Not. Uh, yeah, no, I was just trying to think uh, how I would make use of it, you know, getting it installed on my uh, big screen gotcha. where I'm uh, not right in front of the computer, you know, want to use the hand gestures from uh, that 10-foot experience, right? Gotcha. You know, that's a good point. Uh, maybe these guys need to come up with a, you know, this is where, you know, if Google TV takes off or Apple, you know, Apple TV has an open system. These guys can make a may maybe part, maybe some sort of module for that, but um, yeah, it, that's still a, it's still a market waiting to be decided. We'll see. Um, all right, so okay, guys, we're back um, for some weird reason. Skype crashed. Um, all right, so we were talking about Flutter, but now we're gonna we're gonna sure. move into uh, another app. Let's try right Pump now. Up. What do you say? If you want to share that with me. All That's right, easy. so okay, let me share my, that. Uh, here. Yep. Here we go. There we go. There. Can you see my screen? All right, guys. Um, we're back. We're looking at Pump Up. Uh, looks like this is a web app, or I'm sorry, iPhone looks app. Looks like an iPhone right? app. Or is looks this like a web they've app? updated a little bit since I uh, last took a look at it. Yep, it should. Okay, so it's in a very crowded space. Workout apps. There's lots of workout apps. Uh, it looks like a pretty minimal, uh, you, you know, design. This is a. We've seen this before. Um, um, you know, I'm kind of digesting thoughts, it, Jeff, trying so to. You know, I've got a, a lot of, uh, I've looked at a lot of different calorie counting and health exercise, uh, wellness kind of apps. Uh, very interesting space because mobile makes perfect sense for um, this sort of activity stuff that you're doing on the go. You're at the gym. I can see the screenshots. They're showing how to do event, uh, you know, different yeah. exercises, uh, barbell squat. Uh, it's pretty handy. Um, it, it uh, a lot of people have tried making videos and yeah. publishing them through the, the phone. Um, it, it's you know fairly difficult, and there's certain pain right. points I think that users have when using apps like this. You know, uh, if it's too frustrating right. or difficult, or uh, doesn't fit their schedule or their behavior, they just won't use it. Uh, so I think it's interesting to see uh, to study the usability in gotcha. these sorts of apps. Um, you know whether or not they really fit in the in people's daily lives. Okay. Um, so, so what you're saying is that people, some people, when you uh, when you say busy, yep. you mean they don't want to yep. use this app to track their workout. It, it makes yep. them click around too much. Yeah, you know, I've, it's I've just too uh, complicated. To is, is, is that what you're feeling? Stuff, is that and your you know, sense? sometimes pen and paper or pencil and paper is just easier. You know, uh, or or Excel, right? You know, if there's people who are really into okay. working out. And they really want to okay. track all their uh, their numbers, you know. They they just use what works for them. Uh, so you know, I'm really looking for somebody that uh, you know okay. makes a difference in uh, really cracking that problem open for people that makes it easier for them than harder than uh, Excel, for instance. Uh, okay, so okay, so so uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, as app developers, we we can't take everybody's papers and then make an individual app for them. So are you suggesting that before this app is created, maybe there's sort of like design your own workout app, and then it then you uh, kind of a little bit. Well, it's really about the ease what, of input, the ease of daily use. Um, I guess uh, I'm looking at some of these screenshots here and seeing uh, how easy it is to input your reps. Um, it looks like it kind of guides you on how to do your workout, like uh, you know what exercises to follow each other. Looks like it includes breaks. Uh, I might have to give this one a shot and actually try using it. Uh, at the gym sometime to give it more of a uh, you know a workout yeah, if you will yeah. on the app uh, to see how it works but uh, it looks like it's pretty uh, full featured and gotcha. includes uh, quite a few sections here on both exercise and uh, weight loss 
It does. You know, the ideal thing would be to have some this connected to GPS, oh, wow. and so oh. it knows specifically what machine you're at in the gym, and it would just pull all that stuff up. That'd be really cool if, if a lot of the stuff is intelligent. Yeah. Or it, that even all these machines have sensors. So if I go to LA Fitness, because I've thought about this as, as well, that the LA Fitness has their own app and all the machines are equipped with sensors. And so the yep. phone knows how, which machine it's at. And so I don't have to tell, oh, I'm fucking lifting dumbbells yeah, right exactly. now. It knows People I'm get real tired of saying, oh, I'm at the dumbbell machine, machine right so anyways, now and I just uh, did five the reps. The like the time it took to do five reps yes. might have been quicker yeah, yeah. than the time it took yeah, you to, yeah, yeah. you know, type that in or whatever. So. I completely agree, man. It's all about ease, man. People don't want to click anything or hover Definitely. anything. If you can have it, figure it sure. out. Yeah, that's absolutely. the best way. All right, so let's move on. What do you say, Jeff? Okay, so let's go to this one. Enthuse. What is this? This is enth enthus? Enthuse. All right. What is this? Simple way to reward your fans. Okay, so is this a what, what uh, you say? Yeah, is this I'm a trying to remember exactly who their audience is here, who the, the fans are. Yeah. Anywhere, every fan. So this is definitely hmm. something related to sports, looks like, or oh, fans. Okay, so I guess it's for small sports, sports teams. Yeah, sports I'm not fans. sure what size sports teams, but. Uh... Actually, they're pretty big. Franchises, colleges, and more. Hmm. Looks like drive engagement, strengthen the relationship to loyal fans. So it looks like this is for yeah, it looks the like fan, the or is this for is, the uh, owners? Well, they're trying to get it in the hands teams. of the sports teams owners, but. Uh, of course, it looks like the consumers teams, would be okay. the, the fans so that they can better kind of uh, gather together on the team. Okay, and attention sports fans. Okay, so they've got a little iPhone app for the fans. Looks like they've got a dashboard for the yeah. owners, yep. maybe, or for the, pr for the management. Yeah. yeah, deliver real-time location-based promos. Hmm. Yep, yeah. yep, engagement. Okay, this is cool. Looks like, well, yeah, the a band, Definitely. you know, these teams got money, right? They want to engage their fans. Yeah, this so is a this kind is of an interesting I, I, this idea. This could actually make money. That, what do you uh, think? You know, I'm real close to myself. Um, you know, I don't own any sports teams. Uh, I'm a fan of a couple, but, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, <laughs> definitely a space that might make sense for, right. uh, it's kind of a vertical of uh, some tools we've seen before, right? Like, I can kind of imagine this in some other verticals, but, uh um, you know, I definitely love seeing tools to okay. uh, help people gather around something they're really passionate about, which in this case is uh, teams. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be cool to see more specific examples. I completely examples agree. I think this is a really it. cool and, idea. Um, if they mm -hmm. and it looks like they've got some partners. Their their product is sold to these partners. They even got pop chips here, so I guess they're even yeah, going for. Yeah, I think they were showing them as uh, consumer a, products a sponsor. Even. even. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, this is pretty cool. Prognosis looks like uh, they might actually make some money if they can just get some of these uh, sports teams signed up. And uh, this, you know, there are a lot of sports fanatics, man. And uh, yeah, this is a really cool idea. Uh, w in terms of sales uh, pages, do you think um, they're missing anything, Jeff? It's hard for me to say. It's pretty good. I mean, it's got all the things you want. It's got the list of partners, you know, so you know that they are using it. Um, they had some screenshots. I wish I could have seen the actual app in use. You know, like an exam like one of those teams should have an actual right. uh, example, probably. But uh, and, and again, I'm not the total. I'm not the yeah, direct yeah, audience. Agree. So it'd be good if um, it takes me a second to figure out what's going on here. But uh, it looks very clean. So what you're so, what So uh, would you yeah, agree that, that maybe a uh, uh, in-use video would here would be useful? Um, even if it just kind of showed some screenshots of the iPhone app. Okay. Sliding by just. Okay, and there is a. Looks like there is a. There is a get the free app. So it looks like there is a phone number that I can enter in here. So. Uh, yeah. So there it does actually. There is a text me, and there is some way for. Uh, people to sign up for something. So yeah, a video, maybe some sign up, but otherwise uh, very clean, very nice. Uh, hopefully these okay. guys will make it. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Let's see if we can get one more in. What do you think? Um, here we go. Let's check out Highlight Cam. Yeah, another iPhone. Now what app. is this? Clearly it's an oh, iPhone well, app. Yeah. They're not. It's very obvious. Or an Android, and they even have a. Looks, 
Look, look, they only have a web version for this. Create amazing movies right in your iOS Android. How you is know, this I'm different from sure. their normal uh, movie I making? I think it's interesting, though, to kind of keep an eye on this space of applications, uh, you know, following Instagram and, uh, you know, basically a whole slew of just uh, photo and video sharing apps. Uh, and I myself am trying to find the value in them, uh, other than what the camera app on my phone already does. Okay. Well, I mean, Instagram had all those Photoshop filters, yeah, and they, I mean, they were able to sell out for a billion dollars. So, <laughs> who knew Photoshop filters was, was worth a billion sure. dollars or whatever it was, a hundred million? Or uh, yeah, the not quite that much, but uh, uh, yeah, crazy. Well, I think yeah, what they, was it? Was it yeah, they said I like nearly a billion or something. Number. I mean, the you know, but that's just a press release, and no one really knows. I don't think. Okay. Yeah. Either sure, way, there is, is money in Photoshop filters. People trying. trying to go after it now, but I'm really wondering <laughs> what the value is. I mean, I don't think the value in uh, Instagram was really the filters so much as the sharing mechanism. Um, I mean, that's why Facebook bought them. Facebook didn't buy them for their filters. Yeah, sharing, you know, yeah. Facebook bought them for their audience. Well, I, you know, I, I disagree. I, I disagree. I think it's a combination. I, if Without those filters, people wouldn't be inspired to take all those photos. And they got inspired because of these cool filters, and then, and then, then came in the sharing. So you really got to create the inspiration first, yeah. and then you can build your network based on the inspiration. Which is which is back back with the social posters. They have this really cool creative interface that gets yep. people expressing themselves, and yeah, then they build so a I network mean, uh, on top of that. There's definitely something there. Yep. So um, it's just you know not uh, really easy to see it at first. Um, not always obvious. So. So check it out. They have artificial. They have artificial intelligence to scan the footage okay. for best content their magic, and automatically so. edit them together. Wow, what the hell is <laughs> what is that? So it's got motion detection, and you if know, there's no motion, really it doesn't question. edit it. Is well, it, there's some what, demo what movies doing? down there. I don't know if they're gonna Creating explain much, but uh, this sounds like something maybe uh, someone, one First, of our audience members, maybe is willing to try and let us know how it works. You know what I have to tell you? The site. I have to it, tell you, Jeff. Well, what do you think? You've been complaining about I mean, some other sites awful, having uh, too large yeah, of site, thoughts and graphics and iconography for a marketing page, but uh, I'm, I'm actually like squinting at this page here, and having a hard time reading it. Yet, the, the fonts here actually, this is actually the about the right size. The, the issue I have with this Too is the design of the imagery uh, and elements. all the space that is, uh, white space is important. The white space is important, but it's the way they're laying it all out here is not that inspiring. And, and you know, and, and these videos, the way they're doing this sort of beveled shadow thing is really gross. So, uh, and then the slider here is okay, but yeah, it, 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 the, the, the color scheme, you know, these guys need help. But anyways, uh, hopefully their yeah, technology is uh, cool and they'll know, get see if others using are using it, it yeah. or, you know, maybe there's other things in this space that uh, anyone in our audience would like to suggest to us where, uh, Kind of taking an, uh, you know, keeping an eye out for for the uh, photo and video recording and sharing space. Yeah, just a couple yeah, more absolutely. minutes here. I don't right, know what so you want to finish up with. Let's squeeze one more in before we get into the. Okay. Let's let's do yeah, one this more. Is a here. Let's, let's check out. Look, ooh, site, this is already uh, looking nice. Oh, yeah, some very nice design. Uh, interesting very nice design. Decisions and oh wow. What is this? this? Is this like Pinterest? This is like a Pinterest site, isn't this? Oh, yeah. And we've got a little hover here. Very nice. Looks like they've got some good okay. seed content, so it isn't just bullshit. That's pretty cool. Yeah, what, what do you what think is it about this initial page do? layout here? It's a little bit... Looks uh, like I can click on oh, something. Here's the detail view. Oh, wow. Okay, now you're scrolling. Very nice. There. I really like this, man. This is really clean, beautifully... Beautiful design, man. Oh, this is really nicely designed. I'm a big fan yeah, of this. I'm the not so thing. sure it if I'm, like I'm a big, big fan of how high this you header to, is. Yeah, it's one of those nags. They're oh. trying to oh, there we go. There we go. Make yeah. you read it. Okay. Get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. And then, then there was a video here I, which I which I missed. Mm -hmm. But uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So there's a play tour. Oh wow. Okay, so oh, it's not cool. a video. It's just a little animation. Doing a little scroller. Oh. Very clean. That's yeah, nice, it's great man. to get I another take on web design yeah. from uh, cool. designers that aren't necessarily web 
people, right? Fashion industry, you know. This is great. This is really nice. This is really nice. Oh, I like this. This is very nice. Really well designed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A big kudos on type on everything. All right, and then yeah. it looks like now we've got so, our Pinterest style where I can. Oh, absolutely. And I like the seed content. The, uh, it's very important to have good seed so content. So, do you think they're just trying to be a uh, Pinterest of fashion? Yeah. Just a community based around fashion. Is that what the just is? Oh, definitely. Definitely, mm -hmm. bro. Well, now, now, my next big question. Yeah, absolutely. The next question is, well, where do they make I mean, money, Jeff? Where do they make money? People probably ask that about uh, Pinterest, right? Um, you know, if you know all of these things you're looking at <laughs> That's true. are sold that true. somewhere in some store. Uh, I'm guessing they're not right. just concepts you're, of uh, design. You're right. You're right. They're so actual. Let's, let's, yeah, check out the Angel Co. on this one. So, so the way that you're Pinterest right, works, if right. people That's, aren't familiar, is looking, they make a lot like of money no... through affiliates. Um, when you share, uh, when you pin something on yeah. Pinterest that links to Amazon, like an Amazon product would be the most simple example. But you know, even if it's at like Nordstrom or or somewhere that offers yeah. uh, that, that's selling the product online, Pinterest figures out how to. Uh, create an affiliate with those destinations, and so they get a little bit of a. Uh, they make it? a little bit of money off of it, each of the clicks. So with the massive amount of people coming yeah, through yeah. every day, uh, exactly. you know, in their magazine style uh, website, they're, you know, getting a few dollars here and there from people clicking through and buying products. Got you. So they're making so. all their money on affiliate, affiliate commissions, which is awesome. Yeah. And 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 fashion is you know these these things cost a lot of money sometimes, so maybe if they get a couple of clicks and they click out to let's see if, does it click out to a store? Uh, no, but let's see now what do I do? Does there it doesn't doesn't really click out to anything? Just a larger view. So maybe in the beginning they're mm -hmm. not looking for affiliate revenue. They're just trying to build a yeah, community. Yeah, it's so specific. So that based might be around the other designers, But let's look know, over here. Sure Looks like they've got some investors. Almost get uh, you know custom affiliates with just you know that community the man look at that man we've got dave as one of the uh so this is no joke, investors huh? no. yeah he's the man so uh looks like they've got some s yeah they've got 13 investors looks like they've got some smart money behind here so uh yeah yeah i think this they, pro they probably know what they're doing uh and it looks like from a design perspective they definitely know what they're doing and they've got 205 okay. followers i think that was a little bit larger than the last one we looked at so uh looks like we need at least 200 guys to get somewhere <laughs> on angel list all right, so um, our time is over, I think. I think we've already gone past uh, the 30-minute mark. Uh, you know, the idea behind the show is to cover startups and then also to cover technology. It's up to you, Jeff. If you want to um, do a, a technology bit, what's your feeling? You know, uh, we might save some of those for tomorrow. Um, you know, yeah, we're still trying to figure out the best format okay. for the All show, right, and that. we're really looking for the audience feedback on what they want to hear about. Um you know, I'm just brainstorming in this phase to try to figure out uh, if there's segments or interesting pieces that we can put together that, you know, make it a little bit easier for us to, to banter back and forth between, uh, you know, some of the, the stuff that you guys want to see. So uh, looking for the feedback and, you know, we'll just try in the next episode some some bite size uh, uh, bits on a couple of the technology things I've been looking at just to tease people about what's on our, my list here. Um, you and I in a previous conversation we're talking about the Ubuntu phone um, and I also happen to see today Mozilla looks like they have a Firefox OS so we should chat, so we should chat yeah. about that sometime that's right Firefox uh, I'm also OS really on interested mobile. in that's the great. HTML5 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Facebook app that Sencha made uh, they really took a took it seriously when Zuckerberg said yeah. that uh, the HTML5 wasn't fast enough for their uh, mobile app and they went with a native app um, and yeah. it's really not that great and right. so Sencha kind of came back and punched them in the in the gut with that one so we'll talk about that sometime uh, and then I've just got other cool little jQuery libraries and you know fun little yeah. stuff like that that people might be interested in you know I really have a, a heart for uh, f web front end CSS JS um, user interface you know little usability how how the menus fly out and stuff like that so we'll get into more of that down the road um, but I think uh, today was a, a great uh, session of just kind of okay. talking about some of these startups that we think are interesting 
Yeah, and and to that end, uh, there's so many little details in mm -hmm. you as user interface. Uh, it's really the details that make the site. Yeah, um, you know, my I'd approach with cover, this show like, and this kind of really uh, nice. smoking I'm hot very, coffee very uh, in the past has been just oversubscribing and just taking a look at as much stuff as we can and say, oh, how do they do menus and how are they doing you know, the, the like button or the share button, you know, just the, the common elements across all the sites. Um, but everyone does them a little bit different. Uh, you know, we feel like, oh, comments are so standard or uh, a blog post is so standard or whatever it is. But everyone has their little take on it. And I think the beauty of the web for me is uh, how limitless the constraints are. Uh, the creativity is, uh, you know, the only restraint. And uh, it's really fun to just see how people take new and That's fresh right. looks on stuff. So it's kind of great looking at uh, look.com because uh, they have that fashion point of view, right? They don't come from, uh, you know, a lot of web yeah. companies from Silicon Valley end up looking the same, uh, you know, their web presence. And so it's nice to, to see variation. I like to get yeah. all the flavor. And, no, you know, I... That's what I'm yeah, and it's clearer as a fashion site, they're primarily focused on visuals and this is almost like a fashion magazine very visual focus large images beautiful images and so yeah, yeah and, and you know I'm, I'm big on business models and how are these guys going to make cool. money they're going to survive you know all that stuff so great yeah. you know I, I think this turned out to be a pretty decent first episode um, please uh, hit us up if you have any questions we're always wanting feedback awesome and, no, just uh, looking yeah. forward to next time uh, anything else you'd like to add Jeff awesome no, just looking forward to next time okay <laughs>